Hi, everybody. Uh, thank you for attending Team Make Day on the Hill this year. This year, the day on the hill comes at a time when the state faces billion dollar deficits. It is critical for our future and for the future of the people of Minnesota to protect the vital services that each one of us provides to Minnesota. Last fall, we began a, began a wide range of discussion on who would be the best candidate to support Minnesota's families and protect the vital services the state of Minnesota provides to all of us. One candidate stood above the rest, and we endorsed that candidate. Speaker of the House, Margaret Anderson Kelleher. All right. She is a proven leader. In the worst economic times we have seen in our generation, we need a governor who can step into the office ready to lead. When Margaret is elected, she will be ready on day one. Entering to this legislative session, the Speaker in the House had four goals in mind. To pass a bonding bill, passing a jobs bill, passing a GAMC bill, and balancing the state's budget. Prior to the Easter break, the House is only one short of achieving these goals. All right. Yet there's still quite a bit to do. The Health and Human Services budget bill and potentially the loss of 200 state jobs needs to be considered. And the K-12 budget still needs to be completed. Once again, under the Speaker's leadership though, the legislature is poised to complete their work on time and return to their districts ready for the campaign. There's only one person we can say that has always ended the session on time, has champ who championed the gas tax override and kept the focus on jobs and working families in the face of a deficit after deficit. Please stand and give a warm welcome to the next governor of the state of Minnesota,
it's what's made us great today. It's what's going to continue to keep us great tomorrow. And it's going to give us a competitive advantage in the future. But we have to come around that. And so our focus in this budget is on retaining and gaining jobs in the state. Our focus is on strengthening the educational system in the state of Minnesota. And our focus is on making the work happen so that we can have a more stable situation going into the future. That stability will help everyone in the state. Not just people who are on the front lines, but all families in Minnesota. So that's my commitment to you. I look forward to working with you through the rest of this session as we balance the last portion of this budget, as we work to do very good things for people all across the state, but then as we do the most important work, and that is make sure that we have a friend in the governor's office, right? I want to thank you so much.